guess what? We have a bunch of news coming up for you on The Fix, as always, because we love doing that stuff. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody. Hey, it's hey, it's hey, 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 yeah, okay. Friday at IGN, we're launching a new show called Up and Noon Live. It's on Noon Pacific Time, Naomi Kyle, and it's also live, Naomi Kyle, and which it's means... it's gonna be on all the stuff you're expecting to see live things on, like PS4s and Xboxes and Twitch and IGN and, you know, a bunch of those things. Naomi Kyle. Naomi Kyle. Naomi Kyle. Daily Fix, Naomi Kyle. Naomi Kyle. Naomi Kyle. A week later, and I'm still bummed about Dinklebot's demise, but Bungie has now opened up about why the studio is replacing Peter Dinklage with Nolan North as the voice actor for Ghost and Destiny, saying it's mainly because of scheduling. Executive producer Mark Noseworthy told Game Informer, Dinklage was awesome to work with, but we needed to work with someone who is more available. Nolan is a pro, this is his thing. You can just call him up and say, hey, next week we're doing this internal playtest, and it would be great to get some ghost dialogue in there, and he's available. Yep, Dinklage is most likely busy with Game of Thrones, which you know Bungie actually has this thing called a story. You should look into it. Haha, <laughs> sick burn. Take Two Interactive has now shipped a whopping 54 million copies of Grand Theft Auto V across all platforms. Yes, you heard that right, 54 million copies, holy crap. That's a 2 million unit increase since the last financial quarter for Take Two, which is impressive, but still down quite a bit from the 7 million copies shipped in the previous quarter. So Grand Theft Auto V sales are slowing up. But keep in mind, it's one of the best selling games of all time, sharing company with Minecraft, Super Mario Brothers, and Tetris. It's not a shabby list of video games. We have gorgeous new Final Fantasy XV screenshots on IGN, and it was hard to peel my eyes away from them to host the show. Seriously. The shots showcase Noctis and friends hitting the open road in their convertible, an eerie underground dungeon, and the vibrant city of Lestalum. They also make me want to play Final Fantasy XV right this frickin' moment, but we still don't have a release date, so instead I'll just have to get into random battles with people around the office today. It's a good substitute for me. Not so great for my coworkers, though. PlayStation Plus isn't getting any cheaper in the UK and Europe. In fact, Sony is increasing the one-month and three-month subscription options for the PlayStation service across the pond. While the company hasn't detailed exactly how much the price will go up, it did say the yearly subscription cost of £40 will remain the same. Sony sent the following to IGN, We are dedicated to bringing PlayStation Plus members the best possible service with the most compelling content. For September 1st, 2015, we will be increasing the price of monthly and three-month PlayStation Plus subscriptions in line with market conditions. Ugh, this totally stinks. It makes me wonder if we'll see a similar increase here in North America. I hope not. So as it turns out, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture actually does feature a run button. Following complaints about the walking speed in the adventure game, developer The Chinese Room has explained that holding the R2 button will build up to a sprint after a couple of seconds. Dan Pinchbeck of The Chinese Room elaborated on the mix-up in a blog post and even apologized to players for the confusion, saying, Sorry for those of you who already played and were frustrated by the speed. Hopefully it didn't spoil the experience too much for you and knowing you can get around faster if you need to will make you want to return to explore more. However, there's no word yet on a segue option, you know, for people who despise walking and running and basically life in general. And that's your Daily Fix for August 11th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.